Hey friends, welcome back to Royal Appleberry. And if it's your first time here, hello, I am Kenny the Messy Soaper. So, welcome to my channel. So freaking happy you found me. I am going to use Demi Gold, um, Gold Mica. I'm going to use Twilight Blue Mica. I'm going to use Titanium Dioxide. And for those of you who do not know what that is, it is a natural whitener. So, I am going to be using Bamboo Rambleberries. Also, sadly, discontinued uh, Brambleberries Bamboo and Mint. Come on. There we go. This fragrance smells so amazing. I, I was really sad to know that they were discontinuing it. But, um, I, what am I doing? I made a custom order, uh, about six weeks ago. <laughs> and I hated it. I mean, I really did hate it. Just because it had steric spots in it and I just wasn't in love with the color scheme and she gave me free reign to do what I wanted but I just wasn't thrilled with it so once it cured out I said you know what let me contact her I'm gonna give her the option I took a picture of the soap and I say hey this is what I got I don't love it if you love it I will ship it today if not then I will remake you another soap if you have the time to wait and she was just like, absolutely, you know. She said she wasn't thrilled about the steric spots either, which I didn't think that she would be. And um, what are steric acid spots for those of you who do not know? Steric acid spots, steric acid is um, an additive in soap that hardens it and it kind of, it, it gives it like a very luxurious feel as well. I love steric acid in my soap, but... If you don't melt it at a high enough temperature, it will leave these little white speckles all in your soap. And it's just aesthetics, but it's just not a good look. Not for me anyway. So, um, I was just like, yeah, I'm, I'm just, I can't make myself love this. So, uh, she gave me the go ahead to make her another soap, which I was very happy about. So, that is what I am doing. So, I'm going to do, take an, my, another attempt at... Uh, if you guys know, like on YouTube, the acrylic pores and all of that stuff. So I'm going to take another stab at that. Um, I did one before, but <laughs> I don't even know if I post that video. Um, because I said I wasn't going to just because it was, in my eyes, a fail. Um, just because the white thickened up. So it just didn't flow the way that I wanted it to. I'm hoping that this does. So, with all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get started on this soap. Enjoy the music. Thank you. 
right guys so I could not be more happier with this soap oh my gosh it's so beautiful now there's only one spot I can't get my camera close enough but right here that's like the end where colors start to mighty a little bit so I'm just gonna take a pipette with a little bit of gold and just kind of give it a little bit of pizzazz in that section I might even just drizzle it over the whole thing but I know definitely right here it needs some something going on because it was looking quite muddy so I think well I should probably put that in the soap and not on my countertop <laughs> so I don't want a lot because there's already gold in here so it doesn't need to be gold to death but just a little something you know what I mean but yes this soap is basically as I saw it in my mind's eye the pour I changed a little bit I was just gonna pour straight down the middle and let that be that but um you know in reality paint is a whole lot different from soap base so uh the texture was just just a tad bit different so I had to kind of switch it up but like I said I'm very very pleased with the way this looks I'm going to bring you guys back top down I just want to give you a side view just so you can kind of you know um get a better visual I really don't want to even mess with this but I feel like it needed something going on because it was just too muddy like I said that happens because it happens because <laughs> it's the end and everything starts to get muddy so I'm gonna give this one smack down and then I'll bring you guys top down again so you can see okay doc so <laughs> my lighting is just a little bright it's just not really giving you guys like the full uh, it, now this really does remind me kind of like a Van Gogh painting it is so gosh darn pretty and I'm way <laughs> way more pleased with this I know she liked the navy and she liked the gold colors and the previous one that I made for her so I kind of wanted to stick in that theme because I knew she liked that color combination I just wasn't in love with the original so I'm gonna go ahead and put my dividers in and then we will unload it tomorrow so this fragrance behaves extremely well but it does set up like once you stop messing with it it will set up pretty quickly on you so it, it works out perfect because I'm done so no complaints from me but I'm just so very happy with the way this turned out and L'Oreal darling this is your soap <laughs> and I really do hope that you love it as much as I do because I tell her I want to give you something that I love and she says I, I trust you and you know, I know you're going to make something beautiful. And I think this is absolutely stunning. And I'm going to do more soaps like this because these are just beautiful. Oh my goodness gracious. So I kind of, I think I took some acrylic pour techniques and some soap pour techniques that I've seen. Which I think all, you know, come from acrylic pour in the beginning. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm in love. So I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a close up. There we go. Now you can see. I'm going to move this light. I love my light being overhead, but sometimes the glare can be a bit much when I'm trying to show you the true colors in my soaps. So yeah, if you like this so far, go ahead and give a thumbs up. It is greatly appreciated. I am so thrilled about this soap. Um, I'm thinking to gel this one, but I haven't decided yet. And people may ask, why do you gel your soaps? Some say that it helps release your soaps out of the mold quickly. I have no problems with releasing uh, soaps from this mold. But I kind of want to make the colors pop because that's one of the, um, what is said about gelling your soaps. But, so why not? I think I'm going to go ahead and gel it. I'm going to give it a spritz with alcohol first and then cover it up. Put it to bed. Let it gel. And I'll see you guys um, right now. And so welcome back to the molding of this beautiful custom order soap. Um, so basically, it's been sitting for a week and it kind of just really unmolded itself. So, um, I just kind of pulled the dividers out. Well, I picked it up and it started falling apart. That's why I just went on and pulled everything out because I didn't want to mess nothing up trying to bring it over here. But, so, um, let me just talk about <laughs> how beautiful these turned out. Oh my gosh, I just love them so very much. So, um, I... I think I told you guys. I told you I never remember. But I made these. I made a custom order soap. And I didn't love it. And I asked her can I remake her a new one. And she said fine. I think I told you guys this. So this is the remake. And I could not be more happier 
with the way this soap turned out. It is so beautiful. And it has just a slight bit of soda ash on it, which is absolutely fine. I did a full water on this one because I need it for it to be as fluid as possible. And it just turned out as beautiful as I envisioned it to be. So, I'm so very happy. And L'Oreal Darling, I hope you like this soap. Because <laughs> I do. So, um, yeah. Wow, it's just... I don't know if my camera pick up those beautiful sparkles. It wants to, it's, but it's in Strugglesville right now. <laughs> but it smells good. It looks good. I'm very, very happy with the way this one turned out for sure. And these are beautiful size soaps. So if you guys are interested in having a custom order made, please be sure to just let me know. You can go to my store and just place your custom order there. Or you can contact me via email, which is um, on my website and in the description box below, letting me know what you would like. Um, some people, like L'Oreal, just told me to go with what I do best. Um, she didn't really give me any direction, which I do love custom orders like that. And then I also do appreciate uh, the custom orders where you give me directions of what you would like to see, you know. So, either way, just let me know and I will make it for you. And I just really appreciate it that... No, I'm chosen when there are so many fantastic soap artists out here and you all decide to choose me. I appreciate that so much. It means so much to Royal Appleberry. All right. Oh, this soap smells good. And once again, I have no clue what this fragrance is. <laughs> no clue at all. I, yeah, I don't even know. Um, <laughs> I'll figure it out when I do the, the editing of this video. But it smells fab. I'll go with that. That I can tell you for sure. It smells fab. But this does. I've been told before that my soaps uh, are reminiscent of uh, Van Gogh paintings. And this one definitely looks like a Van Gogh painting in my opinion. So if you're wondering what's on the bottom of my mold. I put Saran Wrap because sometimes I, when I'm not filming... I don't want to wait until the soap is ready to come off the mold of like the liner and I want to take my soaps out and use them use the mold again because I have lots of soaps that I need to be making and it also keeps the cleaning process very easy so like now I can just uh, swap out this little bottom piece I only put it on the bottom so I can pick the soap up and reuse the mold and the soap is not disturbed but um there is no need to do that. You guys see me use these molds several, several, several times and there's no need for me to use saran wrap, but I'm just using it for this purpose because I need to keep things moving and I only have two of these molds. So, yeah, but these molds are fan food fantastic. And if you want one for yourself, you can find them in the description box below. It came from Custom Craft Tools. They make beautiful everything and I mean it. Beautiful everything. So this is probably my favorite bar so far. Hope you guys are having a fan food fantastic day. I am. I got lots of soap stuff I need to be doing. That's why I'm trying to roll through and get all this stuff done. Um, show you guys this. I uh, want to get this curing process going so I can get her her soap ASAP. But uh, yeah, I hope your day is well. Let me know what you're doing in the comment section and what is the highlight of your day. The highlight of my day is this soap and that's the honest God truth. Besides me being healthy and all you guys being healthy, if you are my family being healthy, that is the highlight. But this soap really does make me very, very happy. So yeah, um, if you have watched this far and you have not subscribed to my channel, um, I would hope that you would consider subscribing because it would be awesome to have you in the sack, which is my stinking awesome crew. Um, that's why I call my subscribers because you guys are just that. You're stinking awesome. So thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching all the way through. For those of you who are always here, you know, you rock my striped socks. I love y'all so much. I truly, truly do. Love hugs and kisses. Be awesome, amazing, everything you do. Like this video if you do like it. Like it if you don't like it. <laughs> Um, hit that applaud button if you feel the need to do so. That would be greatly appreciated. Help my channel grow as well. And I'll see you guys in the next soap making video. On that note, bye.